Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Matt Modi with Odds Jam, and what we're gonna do in this video, we're just gonna bet some baseball. So I tried out the new strategy yesterday. Wasn't able to actually lock anything in because of uh, my location, but of the bets that I did place, I had a pretty rough day, uh, down $93 overall. Luckily, two of my bigger plays did hit, 90 bucks at plus 115 odds, 160 bucks at minus 120 odds, but overall, $90 down which brings my net loss down to 200 bucks, which is frustrating because I had turned it around with baseball, but in the past three days, uh, the 18th, the 20th, and the 21st, down 380 bucks, which is unfortunate. Um, hoping to turn things around today. Um, of course, every bet that I get, I get, I place using the Odds Jam, or I get, excuse me, I get from the Odds Jam software, uh, the positive EV page. The way it works is, any situation in which uh, this odds jam line here, you see a odds jam line, this is essentially going to be quote unquote the true line. Uh, these lines are pulled from the most accurate bookmaker in the world, the sharpest bookmaker in the world. So these uh, lines are going to be quote unquote the true line of what a market should be priced at. Uh, anywhere in which we're getting more favorable odds on another book, it's gonna have positive expected value associated with it. Now just because there's a play on here doesn't mean it's automatically worth taking. Um, what I like to do, and I actually just developed this new strategy. I, yesterday was my first day. Of course, it was a rough day. So, um, But I'm not, I'm not making any tweaking changes just because of one rough day. But uh, anything that you see here for market width, um, anything 25 and below is going to be within range in terms of something that I think I would be willing to bet. Um, the, uh, the, the way it works is market width is essentially a way to determine confidence and what the odds jam line is being priced at. Uh, the lower the number equals more confidence. And so the, the kind of line of demarcation that we've decided is 25 cents and below is good to go. Uh, for baseball, to try and limit the variance a little bit, I also, uh, I'm only placing bets that are 3% positive expected value and above. Now this one here isn't actually a real play, this run line. So the only bet that is available to me as of right now is this Marlins Rockies under six runs. So just to look at the math behind it for a second, uh, the OGTM line prices it at plus 157 uh, with the VIG removed. And the VIG is essentially the juice that sportsbooks price odds. It's how they make their money. Uh, they don't charge a transaction fee. Instead, they just price up the odds a little bit in terms of the juice. So that way, uh, no matter what outcome happens, hopefully they want to accept. What they want to do is be able to uh, have equal payouts on each side, no matter what the outcome is. So that way they automatically make money no matter what. Um, so the important thing to do is remove the VIG just to understand what the true line is, what they actually price a market at. Um, and that's exactly what this line is here, the no VIG odds. Uh, it's plus 165. Um, and the odds we're betting at, again, are on DraftKings at plus 175. So uh, the value from the plus 165 to plus 175 has a profit margin of roughly 3.82%. Um, another thing I like to do before placing a bet is just see what all the other books are pricing it at. So you can literally open it in a new tab, which I have here, and the play is on the under six. And as we can see, Odds Jam has this at plus 157, BetMGM at plus 155, and then Caesars has it closer to the DraftKings line, and then DraftKings at plus 175. So to me, this is still enough of an outlier that it's worthy of betting. And then as far as unit sizing, I literally just go off of this calculator here, which tells me that this is roughly a 1.6% play. So I only put 40 bucks on this one. I'm having a weird <clears throat> weird location issue because I'm right on the border of Virginia and DC. So where I am located right now, like physically located at my desk, I can't place a bet. But if I go to my room, I'm a little bit closer, I'm a little bit farther away from the edge of DC. So I am able to place a bet. So if I go to my bets, um, you will see my alternate total locked in, the exact one, 40 bucks plus one or plus 175 odds. <laughs> this one here, this uh, Cleveland Guardians $2 wager. I just wanted to test out to see if I could place a bet. And that's when I realized I could place it from my room. So um, I wasn't able to place it live, but you do see the exact one here, 40 bucks, Rockies Marlins under 
uh, six runs plus 175 odds. So I did lock it in. And I also just wanted to check out the game itself. Now, this one, I admit, makes me a little nervous because the game yesterday between the Mar uh, Marlins and the Rockies was like nine to eight. I actually took the under in that game as well. That was one of my plays here. I actually took the first half and the full game. Both didn't hit, uh, didn't hit by a mile. Game to game, it's hard to just say, oh, last game went over. This game's also going to go over because it's all dependent on the pitching. Um, in this case, we have much better pitchers going on the mound today than we did yesterday. So Pablo Lopez is a stud, 2.85 ERA. Chad Cool, not as good as Pablo Lopez, but 3.69 ERA, so he's not awful. Uh, so that's why I'm much more conf confident in this game going under than the other one. Uh, and this is going to be my only bet for today. So in the, it's the Mar Marlins Rockies under. Uh, let me just designate that today is a new day. The uh, or it was 622. I put 40 bucks on it. Uh, the odds were plus 175. And one thing I like to do is just to show the expected pro the actual expected profit is. Um, all you need to do is you just put in the percent of the play that you're taking of uh, the positive EV, EV percent, which again can be viewed as your profit margin, which in this case was 3.82%. And then if you multiply it by the actual dollar figure of your bet, you can determine what your expected profit margin is. So this one is a little bit lower because it was only a $40 bet because of the odds and the EV percent was again, just under 4%. So you see some bigger ones like we see some 8%, some 5%. Unfortunately, none of those are available right now, which is okay. Uh, you know, not everything's going to be like that. But this is going to be my only bet. The Marlins Rockies under, alternate under. It's about a 1.6 unit play. If you want to round up to two units, you can. So now all I need to do is just add this to my bet tracker. And you just click that button, add to bet tracker, very easy. I put 40 bucks on this one, click save. And now you see the check mark has popped up there. And that's all I got for you. Those are going to, that's going to be my bet. So if you're tailing this bet, I would love to hear it. Hit me up at uh, my Twitter handle that is flashed on the screen here. Comment on the video. Let me know you're tailing that way. Other than that, would appreciate it if you could like, and then of course, subscribe to the IGM YouTube channel. But that is all I got for you. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one.